Saturday night's playoff game is against a pretty big rival. Definitely, and the Packers are taking extra steps to make sure fans behave themselves. The team is cutting off alcohol sales after halftime at Lambeau Field. And not only that, police and security workers will be extra vigilant during the game. Live and die and breathe Packer. Dan Elgie drove from New York to Lambeau. Every year we come. For Saturday's Packers-Vikings matchup. However, this game will be different. Packers officials say fans can't buy alcohol once the third quarter begins. Normally, the taps run through the end of the third quarter. It is a different nature of this game. It's a Saturday night. Uh, it's a playoff game. It's against a division rival. All those things add up. Team officials also promise police and security workers will be tough. But there's not going to be as many warnings for those that are using obscene language or inappropriate behavior. We're just going to escort them out. After the Packers-Vikings game last month, a Minnesota man was charged with disorderly conduct after a fight in a parking lot near the stadium. But the team says that incident and others like it did not cause the decision for shorter alcohol sales and stronger security. They say this game has unique circumstances. The message to our officers to have zero tolerance and to be very vigilant on all ordinances so that we are ensuring the safety of everybody at the game. Green Bay police say they'll have additional officers both at the stadium and in the parking lot. The Packers say 99% of fans follow the code of conduct. Some fans in that majority feel they're being punished by the shorter alcohol sales. Very disappointing. This was my Christmas gift for my family. My three children are with me. We made the trek. I still say go Pack Go, but I want my beer too. <laughs> the Packers are also asking fans to help out the team by reporting poor conduct to stadium and law enforcement personnel. You can check out the Packers fan code of conduct by going to our website, fox11online.com, and clicking on this story.